Um, I remember pretty much the first time I really like got exposed to the squad was really just like either at the Fishwack Festival or the 4th of July Parade. And I always just love like seeing them in public spaces and especially seeing like young students who I recognized. So that kind of stuck out to me like when I would see them in public. And I always kind of idolized those kids that I knew that were like a couple years older than me. And that's kind of really what brought me into it. Um, comes from a personal level. My grandfather a couple years ago, once his health started to decline, um, we've ha we ha unfortunately had to call the emergency squad a couple times and seeing the compassion and care that random neighbors could offer in a moment's notice was probably the biggest reason why I wanted to become an EMT and join the emergency squad. Was one time I was like on in a train and like someone's head got cut, it like got stuck in between the doors. And like the person dropped to the ground and like everyone was screaming like, is there a doctor, is there a doctor? And like, it was the scariest, one of the scariest moments. And I was like, I can do nothing in this situation. So I was like, no matter what, like I'm going to be get the knowledge that I could help someone in that case scenario because I never wanted to feel like that like ever again. Summer was pretty intense, but during the school year, you're working um, in the common room and when you get a call, you leave uh, to go for the call. But while you're not there, you can do homework in the living room area. So it's pretty balanced. It's hard because you don't know if you're gonna get three calls in the shift or like zero. You don't know if you're gonna have six hours to do your work or 20 minutes. Uh, on, we also have to do like um, the CU classes for like continuing education and those occur like every once in a while so uh, those are sort of like the primary commitments that we need to, that we have related to like EMT work. Yeah for the most part um, if uh, you're not getting calls or you're not doing any sort of training drills um, you can work on your homework and so that's been um, really nice especially in um, during these past few months with quarantine because it's definitely like a change of scenery from virtual school um, to be you know uh, in a different setting and able to do your work so that's been really good. I know a lot of school colleges have uh, EMS programs run by the students and that's something I'd definitely be interested in. And even like when I grow up past college I would love to um, you know continue riding for whatever squad because I am like very proud of and am very happy and blessed to have the skills that I do. It's it's definitely a different experience uh, com uh, comparing like before and now. Um, before we were able to do um, uh, there wasn't as much like restriction on like especially what cadets were able to do but now because of the uh because of covid we're not allowed to go on covid calls or like difficulty breathing or whatever it is that like might suggest that covid's president pre wow, present so <laughs> had to like kind of double down on the protective gear so like before like eye glasses and like face shields not as big of a deal but now they're like 100% required, like no matter the situation. Like, it could be like a skin knee and you have to have everything on, doesn't matter. So I think definitely like the first call is always very nerve wracking. Like my adrenaline kicks in, like my heart's racing a little fast. And based on the dispatch, I'm more nervous than others sometimes. I would always get really, really nervous. And there's always sort of like this adrenaline you have when the call comes in um, and you're like getting ready and grabbing what you need to go on. Every single action that we take as EMTs uh, is scrutinized and seen by the public. Yeah, I think most of the anxiety comes afterwards, like if there's anything I could have done better. So the first time like I actually got to go to a scene, it was just so exciting, um, especially seeing like how fast everyone responded and like how many people had to respond. Like it was a bigger call. So like the, f the firemen responded, the paramedics responded, the police were there. It's just really crazy to see how like that all comes together. In 20 seconds, the pager can go off saying someone's mom, their, their, their sister, somebody's loved one, is unconscious and not breathing. As much as I'd like to say it doesn't affect me, it, it does affect me, you know? Because you know that the actions you make correlate to somebody's possibility of coming home from the hospital. It's more of a team effort, like the rest of your crew is there to like always help you and you're just working together. For any prospective ENTs, uh, it's a great idea to try and join. If there are any other students who are freshmen or sophomores and they're definitely want to pursue something in medicine. I know the next cadet class is being chosen soon and I know Tanae and I can both do a test that it's a life-changing experience and it's definitely worth handing an application in.